Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Couch Channel. Today, we are going to talk about how the day before is the day that never will be because this awful piece of trash has been canceled and for the love of God, I hope you get your money back. This is a cow's opinion, which is a little different than usual because I just told you my opinion before we even got to the game. So, let's get into the game. The day before by Studio Fantastic has been canceled and the studio is closing after one of the worst game launches I've ever seen. Very controversial. I was thinking of doing a video of it and it just got canceled. So let us take a look at this. So the game studio, fantastic, have been making this survival zombie game called The Day Before. It released these beautiful, beautiful trailers. One second. So we're just going to have the video playing for a bit. No sound. I don't want it, uh, you know, I don't want to see it, uh, you know, getting my video kind of canceled for like any music or anything they have in it. But yeah, this was the trailer and, you know, this is what the day before was supposed to be. In-game footage, work in progress. You can see we have a little uh, temperature ball, little energy ball, little thirst ball. No hunger meter, which is a little unusual. But yeah, you're supposed to come out here. Supposed to find loot. Supposed to be going around this huge environment. And there were some people talking about, like, even in this announcement trailer, you know, they didn't have, like, a ton of characters on screen. Just more of that. There's uh, him finding a zombie, munching on somebody's nommy noms, and just put him out of his misery. Nope, you don't even see that put out of their misery. Now the game has been put out of their misery, guys, because they announced today that just four days, that's got to be one of the fastest ever, four days after an early access release on Steam, the day before is canceled, and the studio itself is closing. Today we took announced the closure of Fantastic Studio, said the message on their website and all social media. Unfortunately, the day before has failed financially, and we lack the funds to continue. All income received is being used to pay off debts to our partners. <laughs> I doubt that. We invested all of our efforts, resources, and man hours into the development of the day before, which was our first huge game. We really wanted to release new patches to reveal the full potential of the game, but unfortunately, we don't have the funding to continue the work. It's important to note that we didn't take any money from the public during the development of the day before. There were no pre-orders or crowdfunding campaigns. We worked tirelessly for five years, pouring our blood, sweat, and tears into the game. At the time of publishing, the day before was still a purchase, but there's been an update both to the article and in real life. You can see Steam overwhelmingly negative with close to 20,000 reviews. Still in early access, but you can see the ability to purchase this game has been stripped good on Steam after they saw this postings from them. They're like, no, you're not going to have your Steam. Zombies are meant to be killed in game. They're not meant to be zombie games that take people's money for a project that can never be done. At the moment, the future of the day before and Prop Night is unknown. Prop Night is another interesting title that they've been doing. That one looks a lot more fun, but it's not really getting like a lot of... I feel like it was a more kitty version of Dead by Daylight. But it's not really like finding a huge audience. But the servers will remain operational. We apologize if we didn't meet your expectations. We did everything within our power. But unfortunately, we miscalculated our capabilities. Creating games is an incredibly challenging endeavor. Well, no joke, Sherlock. What the hell? So this was supposed to be like, as they say, an apocalyptic open world MMO survival game set in the U.S. following a deadly pandemic. But the game has had a lot of controversy. First of all, Fantastic didn't really show the game off a lot. And then the title was being developed by volunteers. And then the promotion materials had ripped assets from other games, led to skepticism that the project would live up to the hype generated by its initial reveal in 2021. That trailer looked pretty good. That's not the game that was released, guys. Once the most wish-listed game on Steam, it suffered multiple delays, including a lengthy holdup blamed on a trademark dispute. 
and then released on December 7th to mostly negative reviews. The game has seemingly been widely refunded on Steam, while many players have labeled it a scam, and numerous purchasers have criticized Fantastic for what they claim to be false advertising, claiming that the game is actually a small-scale extraction shooter lacking o promised open-world and survival elements. There's a reason why we talked about Jump Light Odyssey not terribly long ago, guys. Thank you to Tom Ivan for putting all everybody's thoughts into the web. But we we talked about uh, Jump Light Odyssey a couple days ago, and that was another game. It's like it's just not going to work. Those guys maybe they didn't maybe they just had a lot of bad luck in the economy. Uh, Fantastic was definitely a cash grab. Uh, the fact that you're closing four, not just the game, but the studio and the fact that they're, they're, I think, I really feel like they're just trying to take the money and run. Now, Steam is going to refund players and Valve is going to come get their money. If your game doesn't meet expectations and people are refunding it, and Valve is going to come get their money. I don't know what they're going to do for people who spent more than two hours in game. Nobody's been the time. The time limit's like two weeks. It's been only been four days. So as long as you haven't spent two hours or more in, in the day before, uh, because the day before is never coming, <laughs> you can get a refund. If more than that, you can like try and file an appeal with Valve. I don't know. I'm sure they're going to be trying to get their. Uh, money back, but the cow's opinion is that this statement is garbage. Here is the post on Twitter. Yeah, they here they talk about in 2015 they released, then they released the Wild Eight, the Dead Desert, Radiant One. Then they finally remember that they don't have to have a number in their titles, and Prop Night, and then release of the day before this year. By the way, here's the top comment. Scam, y'all taking the money you made and running from your scam. You false advertised the day before for years and put out a game nothing like what you advertised. We all know you aren't shutting down because you lack funds, but because you're taking the money and run. I think that that's what that is happening too. They're trying to take the money and run. They were the garbage. There were no, we, it's important to notice we didn't take any money from the public during the development of the day before. That's not true. You went to early access. Early access is still development. And you took people's money. And then four days later, no, ga do gaming's too hard to compute. Deep -a -deep -a -deep -a -deep -a -deep. It's garbage, guys. It's stupid. I really feel like this was a scam. Uh, it's like they saw, St I don't think, no, Star Citizen is a scam. I don't know if that game's ever coming out. But they, it's at least playable and has had progress made and raised tons of money. But this is what you, this is why the cow doesn't do a lot of early access. I know that people have suggested you should do more early access games. This is the danger. You have games like Jump Light Odyssey where maybe it just doesn't work out. And then you have games like The Day Before where maybe they're just taking the money and running. So this is unfortunate, guys. When you do early access, again, I, I can't stress this enough. Do it with a grain of salt and be prepared to never have the full game for the price you're paying. You 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 will not get. You may never get your money's worth. When I get buy a fully released game for fifty dollars, I I know I'm getting a game. Now the game may suck and I may not like it, but I'm getting a released game. But when you do early access, you're getting a game. It's not even in beta sometimes, guys. It's not even. Or if it is, it's an early beta. The game is not finished. And it could be drastically different by version 1.0 than what you're playing in the alpha or the beta. And you've got to be prepared for that. You have to be prepared for that. Every once in a while, I take the gamble. And there's been a couple of games that I'm never going to get my money back on. And I'm never going to get uh, to play. The uh, Cow's Patreon is half released, half not released. And that sucks. That sucks. Guys, this is just a little update for today on a Monday to get you through your week. Let me know in the comments what you think. Did you buy the day before? Were you following this? Or did you think this smelled to the high heavens from day one? Because a lot of people are calling them out. And there are 20,000 negative reviews of people who tried this game. Yeah. 
game is shutting down do not buy this obviously was somebody nice making sure that before they took it down studio shut down three days after release <laughs> absolutely do not even consider buying this broken game rug pool game was not as previously advertised they kept saying it was a survival open mmo even at launch it was none of those this was a bare bones extraction shooter even for early access standards the worst part is even though half my time played was trying to get in during service not working or going down and the company is closing its doors i was still denied a refund Pull one out for Valkyrie right here. Yikes. I don't know what else to say. What hasn't been said already. Coming out in this state. Shutting down the studio less than a week later. Big scam by Vibes. Yikes. And look. It doesn't look anything like this, guys. It doesn't look anything like that really cool trailer I played you. There's no reason to lift weights in this game. Let me know in the comments. Did you try this game? Did you play it? Did you think it was a scam? Let me know down below. And you can play more games, but you can't play the day before no more. But games are awesome. You deserve awesome. Don't waste your money and your time on these scams, guys. And I'll see you next time.